When you're craving good, consistent, and quick Mexican food, Chipotle normally delivers. That's why I am going to put myself to the test. Can I make it better? Let's turn up the heat. Any good sandwich is going to start with homemade bread. That's why I'm going to make homemade flour tortillas. Start with 2 cups or 300 grams of all-purpose flour. 1 teaspoon or 4 grams of salt. Half teaspoon or 2 grams of baking powder. Mix this up. Once the flour, salt, and baking powder is mixed in, go in with 3 quarters cups of warm water. Once your water is all in, mix with a fork. As you're mixing, go in with a quarter cup of oil. Continue mixing until a dough forms. Toss your dough out onto a floured work surface. Continuously knead for about 5 to 8 minutes until your dough is smooth and a little tight. Bring your little layer into a ball, wrap them up tight in plastic wrap. Gotta give them a face and a name. Does Larry work for you? I think it works for me. Little cute little guy. Let him rest for one to two hours and we'll get right onto the chicken. While the tortilla dough is resting, excuse me, Larry, I'm gonna get started on the marinade for the chicken. Start with a half red onion. Small dice the onion. It's gonna get blended up, so it doesn't really matter, but basically just a rough chop. Three garlic cloves, quarter cup of adobo sauce with one chipotle chili, quarter cup of water, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. For the seasoning, one tablespoon chili powder, one teaspoon cumin, one teaspoon black pepper, two teaspoons of salt, and two tablespoons of oil. Blend it up until smooth. You want to get two pounds of chicken thighs. I've got bone in. I'm going to make them boneless. Here's the bone. It's running this way. You just go on either side, make little cuts. Once you can grip the bone, slide the knife away from you, right underneath, and come out. Scrape down the bone and pull it right out. Now you've got a boneless chicken thigh and you can see the bones for stock. Now that the chicken is all boneless and skinless, let's go in with the marinade. Mix it around, make sure they're fully covered, submerged, wrap it with plastic, store it in the fridge for about an hour or so. For the beans, one half yellow onion, thinly sliced, Half a jalapeno pepper, thinly sliced, two garlic cloves, crushed and minced, all right let's get the heat cranking. I got about two tablespoons of oil, we're going to heat this up, throw in the onions, half an onion thinly sliced, a little salt, No caramelization, just sweating them out, making them a little translucent. Go in with your two cloves of garlic, mix that in until fragrant. Half a jalapeno, saute this for about two minutes. Add in one chipotle chili, crush it down. One teaspoon of cumin, and go in with 15 ounces of beans. Let this cook for about five to 10 minutes. Hold to the side until you're ready to make the burrito. I'm cooking two cups of rice. I'm gonna use three and a half cups of water. Once the rice is cooked, it's gonna get a quarter to a half cup of cilantro, two tablespoons of butter, and the zest of one lemon and one lime. Now that the rice is finished, toss it into a bowl. Sprinkle your rice with salt. Go in with the zest from the lime, the lemon, the two tablespoons of butter, and the half cup of cilantro. Your rice is done. Hold this off to the side with the beans until you're ready to make the burrito. Next, probably my favorite, is the corn salsa. Let's start with one poblano pepper, and let's char it up. Continue charring on all sides until you can't really see any more green. Once it's charred, sit it on a plate or a bowl, 
Cover the pepper quick with plastic wrap and let it steam. Now that your poblano is done steaming, you're going to peel it. If you can't get all the skin off, run it under water and the skin should just flake right off. And add it to your corn salsa. In this corn salsa, I've got 24 ounces of corn, a half red onion, the roasted poblano pepper, half a jalapeno, quarter cup of cilantro, one tablespoon of lemon juice, one tablespoon of lime juice, and some salt to taste. I wasn't recording when I made this, but there's the ingredient list. Now for the pico de gallo. Two raw tomatoes, medium diced, about a third of a red onion, small diced, and a little quarter of jalapeno, about a tablespoon of cilantro, a little bit of salt, mix it up, and you got yourself a very basic but tasty pico de gallo. On a floured work surface, bring Larry back out and cut him into six. Now you're going to roll them out to about 12 inches. Keep adding flour as necessary. Once your pan is hot, take your tortilla and lay them in. Continue cooking until you start to get bubbles. Once the bubbles form, wait about a minute and flip. About 20 seconds on the other side, put it in a towel and fold it over to steam. Now for the chicken. There's about three tablespoons of oil in the pan. Get it ripping hot and go straight in. Once the chicken reaches internal temperature 165, pull it to the side and let it cool off. Now while the chicken's cooled off a little bit, but still hot to the touch, chop it while it's hot. Here's your chicken. Let it rest with the rice and the beans and the salsas. First up, the tortilla. Next, the white rice. After the rice, let's go in right with the beans. Load it up a little more than what Chipotle normally does. And after the beans, the chicken comes on. Once you put the chicken right over top, pico de gallo. After the pico, you know my favorite, the corn salsa. Ladle the corn right over top. After the corn, a little bit of cheese. After that, instead of guac, I opted to go with fresh avocado. Tuck in the sides, fold over the top wrap it up grab a knife slice it in half and voila look at that bad boy let's check out the chipotle one same deal boom the driving force in the chipotle burrito is the meat the, the, i got grilled chicken in this to match mine you bite into it, it tastes like grilled chicken. You know there's other things in there, but it all mashes together and kind of just becomes one. Now, we dig into mine. The rice, beans, and chicken together in mine are the main flavor. You can taste each individual element, whereas this is one. If I had to choose one, I'm going with mine all day. It took a little time to make, but at the end of the day, it's definitely worth it. It's definitely better. If you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed watching me make this and compare it to Chipotle's, give it a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let me know down in the comments below what you want to see me make next. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed. That's a wrap. Peace.